Hi, welcome to Healthy Homesteading Adventures. I'm Tamara, and this is February 16th. But today's video took place in 2016. 2016. That's a few years back. Okay, so if you watched my last video, it was about the violations of the county codes that I got. And so one of the first things that I um, started to do to get permitted was my septic system. First thing they wanted me to do was dig up the sump pump and the distribution box for the leach field. And so that's what I did. And then I took that information into them and I was told, oh, this sump pump is too big for your septic tank. And then when they found out that I don't have continuous electricity, just a generator, they said, well, no, you need to have, your whole system needs to be gravity flow. I'm like, what's gravity flow? How am I going to do that? Well, they told me I should get a contractor to come dig up my septic tank and raise it. So this video is going to show you the um, process of doing that. And you can check out my blog, Healthy Homesteading Adventures, for more pictures and more details of the process. The link will be in the description. So then I go, well, how am I going to know how to get this done? By the way, I know nothing about any of this stuff. So um, they said, well, you just contact a contractor. And I go, do you have any suggestions? So they, um, they had a list of contractors. So I called one and got him out here, a father and son team, and well, that's that's all I'm going to share right now, and you can watch the video. team, the ends of the leach field, they have to be seen for the inspector to see them to permit the septic system. The father is learning the tractor and the son is learning how to help him. Here they found the end caps for the infiltrator pipes. In this section, we're working on digging up the septic tank. Working on digging up the septic tank. It's got to be raised higher so we're going to do gravity feed. Gravity flow, however you want to call it. They have a huge tractor, but it was too big to come in here. So they were letting me use my little tractor to take some of the excess dirt away. And I had a lot of fun helping.
Before the tank could be lifted out of the hole, it had to be drained. So this is the man who does the draining. Okay, these guys put this, all these chains on here trying to see if they can lift the septic tank. Whoa. As you can see, the man that helped drain the tank is staying around to help with getting the chain on. He's helping with all the planning of getting it out of the hole. See off to the left here, there's a, the sun is holding a pole that has something on it. It's all laser technology that helps them know how deep it should go. Can't claim to understand it all. But they know what they're doing and they did a great job. So this is my new swimming pool hole, right? He's just tamping it down so it'll be solid.
He's going to dump that. It's going to go all in your face and mine too. How much do we need? About six or eight inches or what? About four over there and about six over here. Don't get too close. <gasps> it's scaring me. I certainly didn't want to see them fall into that hole. Here comes the dust bowl. He gotcha. I was trying to spread the dirt to the other end. level or not. It's a little too high in the end there. Okay, it's back in there, hooked up, and ready to get some dirt put around it. He's going back there to get some of the dirt that I dropped off. Look at my little tractor compared to that big thing. Wow, that bucket can practically hold my tractor. off to see if it would flush and left the lid it stinks all right that's on the video for now okay i hope you enjoyed that after it was all done i had to finish filling in the septic tank i've had a septic tank before when i lived in fallbrook and i know that it's no fun trying to figure out where the lids are and dig them up so um i put in these two metal posts let me show you the area where the septic tank tank is this um, metal post is here above the first 
lid and this one over here is over the second lid and um, over here is with the remnant from the <clears throat> this pipe came up from the sump pump I recommend that everybody marks their septic tank with something because it is totally annoying to try to find it and dig up in especially in a rocky area thanks for watching be sure to hit the like if you enjoyed the video and um, don't forget to check out my healthy homesteading adventures blog links in the description and you can share and subscribe and again thanks for everybody that watched to the end all right have a blessed week bye